Hi. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Cordova badge plugin in your Ionic framework uh, mobile application. So, a few things to note about this plugin before we get started. Uh, this plugin works best on iOS, not in the sense for code compatibility, but in the sense that not all Android uh, ROM flavors support uh, launcher badges. So, for example, my Nexus 5 with vanilla Android from Google does not support badges. Uh, some of them do, uh, but I think at this time all iOS devices support badges. So uh, for this tutorial I'm going to strictly stick with iOS, uh, but if you do happen to have a device that, that, uses, that has badges, uh, it will work. Uh, definitely don't, uh, use, don't, don't design your application around this plugin though. Uh, make sure that you cover the devices that don't don't have this feature. So um, this plugin is uh, by Sebastian Katzer. Uh, in addition to this plugin, we're going to go ahead and use the uh, ng Cordova extension set uh, for Ionic Framework because it will make things slightly easier. Um, but beyond that, uh, that's really all that we're going to do. So to start things off. Uh, let's go ahead and, and create a new Ionic project on our desktop. So we're just going to create a project using the blank template. Just takes a second. All right, with our project created, let's go ahead and navigate into it. And we're going to go ahead and add the iOS platform. Again, remember, um, different Android devices will support this, but not all of them. All right, so we've added the iOS platform. Uh, that leaves us with needing to add the actual plugin itself. So we can do that by doing the following. Cordova plugin add, and then it's https github.com catzer cordova plugin badge.git. All right, perfect. So, with that done, uh, the final thing that we need to do is we need to add ng Cordova into our project. So I've already downloaded it, it's on my desktop, but you can download it from the main page. Let's go ahead and take the minified file from that download and we're going to add it to the project www.js folder and that file will sit right next to your app.js file. So with that done, uh, go into your text editor or IDE or whatever you're planning on using and do uh, go ahead and open that project. We need to do two things in order to get ng Cordova working in our project. We first need to add it to index.html, um, and that needs to be added above Cordova.js. So script source equals js ng Cordova.min.js, and then again that is above Cordova.js because if you don't, you're going to end up with some weird results. We're going to save that. The second place we need to add it is we need to go to our JS folder, then app.js, and we need to add it to our Angular module. All right, so ng Cordova is now officially ready to be used. This brings us to actually uh, implementing some functionality. So we're going to go ahead and create a new controller. We're going to say controller example controller. And we're going to include scope, Ionic platform, and Cordova badge. All right. Because this plugin uses native device code, it needs to be wrapped in Ionic platform. 
and that makes it so that way your application won't try to use it until it's ready um, and it's not ready instantly so we're gonna say ionic platform dot ready function and then all of our code is gonna go in here so the first thing that we want to do is on iOS um, you always need to ask for permission before you show notifications and badges so let's do that first prompt for permission and this will happen one time if the user declines it or accepts it the only way to change this decision is to do it through the application settings of the device or simulator so let's go ahead and go on a new line we're gonna go ahead and create a new function we're gonna call this set badge and we're gonna we're gonna say value so that way we can tell it how many badge numbers we should add. And inside this function, we're going to do the following. Cordova badge dot has permission. So we're going to first check to see if permission was granted to the for the application. Then, so on success, we're going to receive the result. Otherwise, on error, we're going to see what that error message is. And more, more than likely, the error will be that the device does not have permission. So console.log, uh, let's say, uh, JSON, ringify error. So we'll just print out the error to the logs. And then on the success, uh, provided that they do have permission, we're going to say Cordova badge dot set and we're going to set the value so we're not quite done yet we've made this function but nothing is actually using this controller or function yet so going back into the index.html what you what we're actually going to do is we're going to go down to our ionic content tag we're going to say ng controller we're going to say example controller and then we're going to create a button. And this button, we're going to say, uh, in the ng click, we're going to say set badge. And we're just going to say 5. We're going to set it as a constant value. All right. At this point in time, uh, we should be good to go. So going back into our terminal here, we're going to say ionic build iOS. Now let's see if we can actually get away with doing an ionic emulate iOS. I don't frequently use this, but you know what? It might work in this scenario. So ionic emulate iOS Oops. All right, so it opened up our simulator here. Would you like to send notifications? Uh, this is where it's asking for permission. I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to click set five. So if I go ahead and hit the uh, home button, you can see there's a five badge on our launcher icon, and that's that's what we mean by badge uh, icons and this this plugin. It actually sets it to the icon itself. So as you can see, it's it's not too hard uh, to set badge numbers. There are other functions included with this library, like uh, increasing or decreasing a badge uh, value, rather than setting it as a constant. Um, you can definitely see that in the documentation. Uh, again, uh, this works best on iOS. Uh, some, some Android devices will support it, but not all.